<laughs> Hello, Toronto. <laughs> My name is Bruce. I'm a little bit on the gay side. Um, I used to hide it, but now I tell everyone uh, because I think it's very fashionable. Or oh, you're looking handsome. Right? Um, I'm Someone recently told me that I look like the Pope. <laughs> I'm totally out of the closet. Maybe I look a little bit like uh, the former Pope Benedict with his white hair. Except he's much more feminine. Have you ever seen him on uh, St. Peter's Square pants and out in his red silk slippers and his white robe? My friends called him uh, Queen Mother Benedict. They say that yeah, I made Michael Jackson look strange. But, but enough about him. Uh, myself, I had never actually met a Pope, but in Catholic high school, I ran across a few priests. Oh, and it was a very touching experience. <laughs> but uh, as a child, I was a bit fat and nerdy, so no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get any of the priests to molest me. <laughs> but I did try out for the, uh, uh, the high school football team, and I, I was so excited when the uh, captain, he chose me for a tight end. <laughs> and uh, I just actually tried to get tackled. I just loved it. But, uh, but unfortunately, the coach, he let me go because every time the quarterback made a pass to me, I became so emotional. So, yeah, so, yeah, so I was back and I was, oh, and now that quarterback and I, we did have an adventure, a secret rendezvous, so to speak. And uh, being a good Catholic student, I thought, oh, I'm in trouble now. I better go to confession. I'll have to go to that grumpy old Father Murphy. So I drummed up my courage and went into the confessional rather nervously and said, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, my son. It has been a month since my last confession. Uh, go ahead, my son. Well, I, um, I, I, go ahead, my son. Well, I had sex with another male student. And he said, oh, really? <laughs> Tell me more. bought a yacht, named it the unsinkable, number two. Number two. Uh, don't ask about number one. That's what I used to call my ex. <laughs> well, at my age, I really need some help with the ropes. Uh, oh, uh, maybe you could give me a hand. Perhaps you could be my uh, rear admiral. Could uh, hold up the rear, so to speak. <laughs> so, uh, and then, uh, do you think you could take care of the semen as well? <laughs> but uh, no, you to uh, dress up as a sailor because I just love a man in uniform. What, what size are your shoes? <laughs> well, my, my. I actually last week I hired a. A young man, a uh, strapping young man, size 12, and he swore he was straight, but I knew he had to be gay because he swam behind the boat and he kept yelling, throw me a boy, throw me a boy. <laughs> Someone recently called me uh, pretentious. What? I almost choked on my caramel latte. <laughs> I never brag, I never talk about my penthouse on the lake or my Mercedes or my $3,000 Shih Tzu puppy. Now, pretentious, my puppy, now he's pretentious, he only drinks eau de toilette. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm telling you now, I'm a published author. 
uh, true story. I wrote a book, and I, I googled online uh, some tips in, on how to write, and it said you should write about something that you love and something that you know a lot about. So uh, penises came to mind. <laughs> so that's what I wrote about, and uh, uh, it's called Cockadoodle. And uh, I guess it's rather romantic because in it, um, every guy gets his man in the end, so to speak. Hell of a book. Oh, and about that book, uh, by the way, I have a free copy for you. See me after the show. And I'm uh, kind of, kind of uh, proud of myself because despite being a senior, I'm learning all the new technology and I learned how to text by voice recognition. Oh, wow. I, I made a mistake last week though when I accidentally uh, texted my financial advisor, Chuck, an email or a text meant for another person. And uh, he seemed upset, but all I said was, I'd like to slap that cute little ass of you. <laughs> seniors though, uh, on my mother's side of the family, in their senior years, uh, they all got uh, paranoid dementia, but on my father's side of the family, they uh, had longevity, and they enjoyed living well into their hundreds, so, so uh, with my luck, it looks like I'll live to 110, but with paranoid dementia. <laughs> talking about dementia, Queen Elizabeth recently was talking to her husband, the 99-year-old Prince Philip, and she said, uh, Philip, I fear you might have a touch of dementia. He said, me? You're the one who thinks she's the bloody queen of England. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about queens, uh, one of my friends recently called me a size queen. I don't know about that, but uh, um, I do have a weakness for younger men with a cute face and a rather large penis. <laughs> well, well, more and more of a large penis. <laughs> like my ex. No, my, my ex, now he was hung like a horse. <laughs> he could be a real pain in the ass, so to speak. <laughs> but he was always... He was always playing tricks on me. I, 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 he was playing tricks, I'd fall for his tricks every time though. I, I guess I was blinded by his big penis, but 